care about. I'm just sitting here drawing, mind my business, doing me. I just want to say I popped off last night. Did I get me? Did I go far with playing around with syrup? Yeah, circles to us. That's my male friend. I'm going to break them down later in these videos. But yeah, did I go too far last night? Did I find my? Because like I said, it's not about sex. It's not about that. Like I said, I'm at the point where I'm become, I'm coming asexual where sex don't do it for me and touching don't do nothing for me. I mean, sometimes we can play, but the reason why I'm becoming asexual because sex, your discretion about sex is used in the wrong way. People have their own ideas of what it should be and what they think it should be. And once you see the same thing and do the same thing and come around misunderstanding, you get tired of it and you walk away from it. That's me. Because like I said, there's more to me than my fetish. And like I said, I'm tired of this thing being everybody's head. Who, who's more bigger? The moment people see that I'm black or learn that I'm black or I'm telling black, well, how big are you? And then I'm not black enough. Or I brought people nitpicking me. But yes, sir, I was a little upset. I was crying out depressed because Sarah yeah, was out helping a cousin move. And I had an experience where one guy gave me attitude and, uh, and other guys... They were after I helped them and did I one thing I learned when you do good, don't always suspect good. But it just hurts me that we live in a world now that evil and narcissistic is taking over. And good fair people like me will just push this out and say, Ah, shut up. You got this. What you complain about? And then and even the little bit of stuff you had and the stuff you work for and the amount of price you paid to get with this. Like I said, again, this this big king stop, this big queen stop, this big master size room. You think this just fell on my head? No. I paid a price by losing my sister this summer. And mind you, they don't die on my birthday. That still upset me. But to go around people where they judge my outside and they think they know me when they when they think they know me when they don't know me. They haven't seen what my shoes are like, just like I don't know what their shoes are like. But it's just heartbreaking that we live in town when people judge you. But I just want to say, if I went too far last night, I'm sorry and I love everybody. Do y'all set my apology? Once in a while I do like to play that because like I said, I I mean, don't get me wrong, there's some times I've been blessed, but then there's times I had misfortunes. And if anybody's going through misfortune of living with somebody you don't want to live with, go, and if you're dealing with somebody, remember, things come back on people twofold. Nothing lasts forever in this life. Look at right now. This is almost that. This is about the afternoon, and pretty soon it's going to be the evening and night. Nothing lasts too long. It doesn't. Look at, for example, how summer went fast. Look at right now, we're, we're in like the taste of all of this fall. Nothing lasts forever. Whoever lives somewhere that you're not happy is going to change. But like I said, I was going through a little personal thing of somebody I dealt with. And like I said, I got to argue with a woman. But it wasn't about her. It was about the experience I had. But I was playing another time. But I just want to say, if I went too far last night, I apologize and I love everybody. Do y'all accept my apology? Because like I said, I'm still going through a very critical time, a very sensitive time. And, and when you get around people that, that are very arrogant and they don't care, that also takes, that also hit me psychologically like anybody else. All right. I'll be back on. I love everybody.